Hello guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will be going through the different type of advanced Excel actions. In previous video, we have covered the common Excel actions. I will be going through a few of the advanced actions so that you can make use of it for further other processing. Moving forward, we have the Get Selected Salvage from Excel Worksheet. So what does this mean? This means I would like to retrieve a selected range of cells in a structure consisting of first column, first row, last column, and last row. Okay, so in this case, you are only able to get this value if you have select cells in worksheet. So basically, you need to identify which particular cells that you would like to select and then if you would like to get the value, you will use the get selected cell range. You can also use a copy cells from the Excel worksheet, paste cells. You can also insert a row into the Excel worksheet. In this case, you may need to indicate the row index. Okay. You may also delete the row, insert a new column delete a column or get first free row on column for Excel worksheet. So some of you might be wondering why we have get first free row on column and you also have get first free column slash row. So the difference here is for get first free row on column, I will only get the first free row based on this one particular column. So in this case, if I open one example, so in this case, assuming I have a lot of data here in column A, okay, but now I want to get the first free row on a column B. So if I select B, So you will give me this value of 8. Okay, but if I were to use the get first free row or column, you will basically give me which column that everything is empty. Okay, so let's try to run this again. So now you see the difference first free column first free row okay this one is for for the number three activity first free row and first free, first free column and first free row which is 13 and first free column will be eight so that is the difference between get first free row on column and get first free column slash room okay without further ado um let's try to create one exercise create a robot that does the following with a file called random words excel.csv and store the data in a data table create a threshold suspicion value of five filter the data table based on the suspicion level write each filtered word suspension level is more than threshold in the message box. So in this case, first we will want to know what is the Excel file first. Okay, so let me show you one example. So this is how the Excel looks like. I have the word and I have different type words followed by suspension level 2 3 and any random number okay so in this case let's try to launch excel click save 
and then I would like to get the first three code and column indicate the Excel instance click save I would like to read the Excel and I indicate a range of cells from A1 to B get first three row minus one okay and then I would like to declare a threshold which a new variable for threshold of five okay now I would like to use the for each loop For each item in the data table, okay, you see here there's a type here data table, and the variable produce will be current item. For each of this row, each item, I would like to put an if condition here, if current item okay and then this is the tricky part you may want to add something like this if current item put a square bracket suspicion is greater than the number of threshold Okay, why do we have to put the square bracket? So this is how the data table works. For each current item, there will be a current bracket here. This square bracket here must have a single quote indicating the column name. You may if you don't want to use this, you may also use an index, which will be one. Cross zero one. And in terms of in row basis, this one is 0, this one is 1. For column, 0, 1. Okay, and then in this case, I would want to use the name. Okay, why we use the name? So that if in the future, this suspicion level we add in the third column, this is dynamic enough to tell that hey I'm I'm actually getting from this column name instead of the index. Okay, so now if this suspicion is, is more than threshold, what I would like to do is I display a message. And then I type word. current item I want to display the word and suspicion level is more than threshold okay so now let me close this section and run it Current suspicion name not found. Okay, that means most likely is a typo error. No. Okay, let's double check. Make sure I enable this first line of range contains column names. Okay, once I enable this, close this file again. And I click run. Okay, now it displays the message box. 
congratulations such person level is more than threshold so the word here is congratulation okay this one is the first one all right followed by second one you let's check it okay you is more than five have completed this exercise so that's all for this exercise so if you're keen to learn more do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant content and tutorial videos on microsoft power automate desktop thank you